What's going on my dudes one step here with the newest to top five best cameos in Mortal Kombat 1 because the newest and latest patch to Mortal Kombat 1 brought a lot of changes to the characters themselves and the cameos so the meta is you know always changing always evolving so right right now with the newest cameo being Farah and all the changes it brought to other cameos who are the top five best and by the way by best I don't mean like who does the most damage because a lot of the cameos if not all of them offer some form of damage and or a combo extension this list is not about who offers the most damage. This list is about who is objectively the best cameos when it comes to damage, combo extension, utility, safety, and other factors. A lot of these things go into play when I'm considering the best cameo. In no particular order, let's get right into it. First on my list is one of my favorite cameos, even though she's been nerfed a couple times now, and that is Chameleon. I love Chameleon. She cycles through her forms, Katana, Melina, Jade, and each one offers different things for you. So your game plan changes on the fly, and that strategy isn't meant for everybody but it's a great cameo. Let's say you do an unsafe move and you want to get out of that and be safe on it. You have like a ton of fan left for you or you just want to close the distance, same thing. Also more combo extension with a fan. In Melina, we have an overhead now. And it's an overhead launcher, so if your character lacks an overhead, there you go. It offers us aerial combo extension as well. And then let's say your opponent's trying to zone you out. Just use Jade. Now you're projectile invulnerable. There you go. That's a great utility. Or we just get combo extension, which is always great. And then worst case scenario, you have a back cameo move in all forms, and this lessens the damage you take on the next hit. So no matter what, we have some form of combo extension. We get mix up, we get utility and safeness. Chameleon is amazing. And believe it or not, but Farah makes my list. Farah offers an overhead. She offers a low. Both of those are launchers. We have a mid launcher, and we even have a throw with her as well. So just all that by itself offers some amazing utility, awesome mix up, combo extension, and mind games too. You throw out Farah, now your opponent's like, oh shit, what do I do? What do I gotta block here? You back up and you're like, psych low, back up psych throw. Or you gain a projectile too, which is awesome. It's also an overhead projectile. Projectile, throw, mix up, combo extension. We're not even done yet with Farah. We get a damage buff as well with her. Now our combos do even more damage. Or you can just call her out to be your cheerleader, and then from this point on, your hits gain you more super meter back. So it's a great way to stay ahead of the game and gain super meter, do more damage in your combos, gain mix up, gain combo extension, gain some kind of projectile. Pharaoh offers basically all of it, man. She's awesome. You learn how to use her right, she's top five. Throughout all of his buffs and his nerfs back and forth, Cyrax still makes the top five. We get combo extension. You can make yourself safe on unsafe stuff. And now with his new buff on his bomb hold here, you can just control Cyrax where you want to go, then detonate it whenever you're ready. And that does allow for like combo extension off of crazy stuff. It can also get you out of grabs, which is really cool. And then of course we have the net as well. And this is of course combo extension and it drains your opponent's super meter bar as well. So right off the bat, we can drain our opponent's bar, combo extension, make yourself safe, get out of grabs. Cyrax offers a ton of utility and damage. He's a great cameo. Believe it or not, I think Wataro is a sleeper cameo. Not everyone realizes his potential and he is amazing. He's probably one of the best when it comes to utility. He offers a teleport. We can either go close, mid screen, even full screen. And a lot of characters like to be at that full screen mark to either zone out your opponent, give them pressure, whatever it may be. It also makes you safe on certain things. You can extend combos with it. We have a low projectile. That's good for mix up. We got three mid projectiles for combo pressure and combo extension. If your opponent's trying to zone you out, bad cami reflects their projectiles and then makes them not want to zone you out anymore. Mataro is definitely slept on, offers amazing utility, and in my opinion, one of the best cameos out there. And yes, I do believe that Scorpion is simple but effective and makes him top five. We have an overhead starter. So there you go for mix up. If your character lacks an overhead, we have an armored full screen reset move. And again, a lot of characters like that full screen strategy. It helps you kind of reset the stage if you want to just get away from your opponent. And of course, awesome combo extension with that fire breath move. And then his newest addition, his newest move, the Fire Aura, it does use a full cameo bar, yes. But now, no matter what we do, our opponent's taking damage over time because we are lit on fire. Awesome for pressure, damage, so many great things, and Scorpion offers all of that. Again, simple, but effective. And not only that, but compatibility, Scorpion can be played with basically any character on the roster. Like, any character benefits from the things that he offers as a cameo. Now, with the top five out of the way, here are some quick honorable mentions that I know some of you guys in the comments are like, oh, no, actually, this cameo's top five. With the newest punch walk buff, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say Goro, and yes, that is great for 
combo except of course but that is really just for damage and it uses your full-on cameo bar and you're waiting what feels like forever to get that full cameo bar back to be able to do it again i would rather use half the cameo bar for maybe a little less damage on other moves but way more utility i think that's way more worth it again damage is awesome but it's just not worth the full cameo bar in my opinion and you might disagree that's totally cool i can see why you might put him in your top five he's definitely my honorable mention and for the same reason so is janet cage again awesome combo extension which then equals good damage and again that's all great but i look for more than just damage and combo extension in my cameos my top five janet's pretty close when it comes to that if you can learn how to use her double yeah, agent move this good. stuff is really insane that skill gap is just way too big and though it's amazing and i could see why you would put her in top five i just don't see that double agent used that often i think other moves are probably worth it for your main character you just get in my opinion and as you see right here we're gonna knock down gears hard knock down there you go but her nut punch move is actually a re Stand move so it restands our opponent, giving us the pressure back as the aggressor. So now we can choose do you want to go for mix up, do you want to go for the grab. A lot of things you can do when your opponent is restanding because you're negating their option to do a wake up. Janet Cage offers that great combo extension. Double agent is really cool. Again, I can see why you might put it in your top five. She's really close in mine. I just prefer other cameos though. With that being said though, my dudes, let me know down below who is your top five best cameos, your favorite cameos in Mortal Kombat 1 and why. Do you agree with my list? Do you disagree? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more